Hi everyone. Little Maritimer here. And today is the first really nice day of spring. So I thought I would get out and get some fresh air. And uh, as I was driving around, I thought, what could I do to, I don't know, make some content for my channel? And uh, as I was driving past Fort Needham, I thought, yeah, there's something I could chat a little bit about. It's got some historical content, so yeah, why not? So here we are at Fort Needham Park. Now, like I said, this is the first really nice day of the spring. So the grass, the mud, yeah, not so pretty leaves aren't out on the trees yet although I do have my flip-flops on so that's a good sign right so anyways yes this is just a small portion of uh, Halifax where I live actually I kind of live in a so small suburb um, on the outskirts of Halifax um, but it's still within the Halifax regional municipality so yeah we're still considered the city of Halifax when we pay taxes and such. So, you know. Anyways, so um, I'm just going to go down around this way because the view of the memorial here is uh, a lot nicer on this side. Yeah, the birds chirping. Oh, it's beautiful today. Absolutely gorgeous. It's not supposed to be this nice tomorrow or the next day or the next day, but it's supposed to be seasonal. Today is, uh, I think, 20 degrees Celsius. So uh, right off the top of my head, I'm not sure what that is Fahrenheit, but it's nice. For here, it's nice. Um, over here is the Halifax shipyard. You can see that's the Halifax Harbor and uh, this is why Fort Needham really comes into uh, comes into play so stop for a minute here this is <coughs> excuse me sorry this is the Halifax explosion memorial bell tower and the tower pretty much overlooks the area of the city that was devastated by the Halifax explosion. And every year on December 6th, people gather here um, to hear the ringing of the bells and to remember the victims of the disaster. So this area here actually was a Fort Needham. And uh, it was a military grounds. It was established uh, see, as a park in remembrance of the victims um, in uh, 1942. It was deeded to the city and uh, it was built under the conditions that it would remain a public park forever. And uh, it does. It's, it's a public park. Or some people come and we'll just kind of move along a little bit here. some information down here. I'll uh, see if I can. Good old flip flops. Flip flop. Flip flop. Okay. It's a little wet. But doggy prints everywhere. Alright, so let me see. So this basically says 
the harbor explosion on the morning of December 6, 1917, a French munition ship, the Mont Blanc, inbound for a brief stop on her way from New York to the war in Europe with a cargo of benzol, gun cotton, pyric acid, and TNT collided with the outbound Belgian relief, Belgian, sorry, relief ship Emo. Reversing her engines, Mont Blanc went astern to pull out of the deep gash in Emo's side. Steel rasped against rage, ragged steel, sparks flew. Mont Blanc caught fire and blew up at 9.04.35 a.m. Uh, the death toll of undefiable dead ashore in the ships was 1,963. More than 9,000 suffered injuries, often to carry their masks and scars for life. Many of the northern parts of Halifax and Dartmouth were devastated. Phoenix Lake, they arose again stronger and finer from the ashes. Look east down the hill towards Dartmouth on the opposite shore in line with the opening between two sections of the explosion, explosion memorial. You were looking at the place in the Harbour Narrows where most of the violent man-made explosion before the atomic bomb occurred there in 1917. And I believe is pretty much where the Halifax shipyard is where I just showed you a moment ago. So yeah it's somber, very somber. It's a somber event every December 6th. Uh, I remember when I was in grade six uh, my teacher read us a book about the Halifax explosion and the only thing that I really remember about it um, is the story of a little girl who as a survivor was retelling her story of how she was blinded by um, glass and debris and all she remembers is crawling over bodies and feeling body parts. And that stuck with me. Like, I'm, oh well, I'll be 46 on Easter. And uh, that stuck with me ever since. And it always will. The, uh, the Halifax explosion was a um, devastating tragic event. So I'm just walking back to my car now and I thought I'd take a little footage of one of the bridges that we have that connects uh, Halifax to Dartmouth which is another like sister city on the other side of the harbor which awful oh, sorry also suffered um, a lot of damage um, with the Halifax explosion. And So what are you guys up to today? Oh, there's the Halifax shipyard. Let's see if I can get some footage down here as well. So this is the north end of Halifax. portion of the North End of Halifax. Here we have a little North End Community Garden really wasn't going to be a part of this, but it is now. <laughs> There's my 
vehicle and a weird dude standing next to it. Wish me luck. <laughs> so, since I had you all at Fort Needham, um, I thought I'd bring you here as well. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this is part of the anchor shaft from SS Mont Blanc and uh, it weighs approximately 100, sorry, um, this is right there, 1,140 pound anchor shaft. This is the anchor shaft uh, from the Mont Blanc. It blew 2.35 miles and landed here. This is a uh, just a small park in uh, a community of uh, Purcell's Cove, which is also in Halifax. I don't know. I have sunglasses on, so I don't know if you guys can read this at all. But it just uh, explains a little more about the Halifax explosion and the Mont Blanc, which you can uh, read about online and probably see a lot better than what I'm showing you here. It's a nice little, uh, nice little spot too. Um, people around here are very wealthy. Extremely wealthy. Alright, back So that's on pretty the much it. And this is pretty much me. <laughs> um, if you guys like this, maybe I'll start doing some more content. Um, besides the uh, bad Nova Scotia driving and the swearing. Apparently a couple people don't like that very much. But, um, but yeah, so there you have it. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.